welcome to this edition of DIY3dtech.com. In this episode, we've got all the parts um, cut for to mount the top piece of the um, Cyclone um, dust collector to the top of the pail. So let's go ahead and let's take a quick look at how we cut all this, how we did all this, and then we'll take a look at assembling this. So let's cut over. Okay, so here we are. We've got the material mounted up uh, to cut the bottom flange out for our dust collector project for the bottom of the lid to give it some extra support. So, uh, uh, it's, uh, I believe this is a piece of ABS sheeting, so get it rather cheaply off of um, uh, eBay, and it does, does a good job. You really can't laser it, but seeing seeing it's not bad. You do got to cut it at, at some slower speeds, but uh, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's do a time lapse, cut this up, and let's get building the... Um, uh, Flange again. This was done with the uh, the SCAD uh, DF, DXF template that we created from uh, uh, Open SCAD. So let's go ahead and cut this. Okay, so we've um, we've taken a look at how we've created the flange. We're going to do the gasket on, on the laser cutter. So I've got the DXF loaded up in here and uh, on Corel Laser Draw, and I'm going to send this to the laser cutter. So apologies for the noise background because the water pump's running, the laser's running, the air compressor's running, the power of the air assist and all that stuff. Uh, but we're going to take a we're going to hop over to the laser which is behind me and we're going to watch it cut out this gasket so let's hop over there Okay, so here we go. We have our um, our laser cutout gasket, so that we created in uh, Open SCAD. So again, we've taken now Open SCAD work to the CNC router. We've taken it to the laser cutter, and so again, it kind of shows how versatile it is. Okay, so we've now cut out the uh, flange for the underside of this on the CNC earlier from the uh, Open SCAD file. We've cut out the flange uh, gasket on the laser cutter, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the same file but excluding the external cutout, um, you know, for the larger portion on the outside, just cut out the center hole and the four holes to actually cut out for the top. So this is one of the reasons in um, Cut2D I centered the material in the center so I could 
whether it was round, square, or whatever, I can just pick the center of the material and, and cut it out. So it uh, makes it just easier to do that rather than using the uh, top left as the origin over here. So let's go ahead, cut this out, and see what happens. Okay, so here we are. We've uh, cut out the lid, so uh, again, perfect cut. Now, one of the nice things about this, if I get it in frame here, so uh, again, since we've used the same parametric file for for all parts, they're all going to line up. So, so if you if if you check on your first part to your original, and then you cut all these other parts and you see, use the same parametric file, they're all going to fit. And that's, that's one of the great things about it. So I already know that this piece is going to fit the flange. It's going to fit both flanges. It's going to fit the other piece because I've already checked it. And I've used the same file to, to do all these cuts. So this really kind of shows you the versatility of um, utilizing something like OpenSCAD too. Is, is again, we can... Um, use that one file for many purposes and, and again it makes it very easy for building something like this so let's take this over the bench let's let's kind of bolt everything up and see how it works okay we're back at the bench we've got our flange for the underside we've got our gasket for the top side we've got our um cyclone chamber what i was looking for we've got some number 10 bolts and nuts and we're going to start uh the assembly process. So we're just going to stick a nut through there, bolt through there, sorry. Put the gasket on and put the, yeah, if we get this to work, stick that through there. And then we're going to put the, um, the bottom flange on. And then we're just going to loosely put this nut on so we can arrange the, the others. Um, these aren't the best uh, bolts, but uh, I guess it'll work. There we go. That's on there. So we just need to start getting the others lined up, if you will, uh, to get this to work. So I want to go to the opposite side and get this to line up and then again put that on there and boy I like the way that this is coming out um, I'll show you what I mean in a, a minute as I finish these bolts um, <laughs> You know, because I really didn't want to just do like everybody else did with the silicone adhesive. There we go, we got that final bolt in. And I'm just going to take... Uh, I got a socket. These are... These are um, no, I believe they're number 10 bolts. Um, that I have on here. And so it's a little bit more difficult to get somebody watching over your shoulder. And you don't want to get these too tight. You don't want to snug snug them up because you got that gasket material, and you don't want to, you know, you you squish it too tight, and you can break the seal. But you just want it snug because what's going to happen, and one of the reasons we designed this this flange. Um, a little bit oversized is it's going to take the torque 
off the lid because the lid, it, lid is, because one of the things um, I should probably talk about that I did for the, the five gallon bucket is uh, make sure I got that. Eh, this one might need a little bit more. And on there. So there we go. And so we see you kind of want to get it uniform. This one's a little bit snug down, a little bit too much actually. I'm going to back this one, this one off a little bit. Doesn't need to be that tight. Um, so uh, because what this is going to do is this is going to add a little bit of extra torque to the you know the underside or, or rigidity really not torque but it take the the, the torque uh, rigidity so uh, again it's not so I don't know if you can see if, if I shine the light underneath here let's see if I take one of the lights see see how it sticks out from underneath so what's going to happen is if it goes to torque that way it's going to actually put put pressure a bit on this so that's a good thing uh, because the other thing about the lid so there's a couple different types of lids you can get for the bucket uh, there's a tear-off lid and then there's these pop-off lids now the tear-off lids are far more um, sturdy than these what I call pop-off lids or you can take your finger underneath it and pull it up uh, and that was one of the reasons for doing this flange like this but you know there we go we now have it so the next part of this build is going to be uh, these adapters. So I got these printed on a 3D printer, so we'll come back in another episode, and then we'll do these adapters. So uh, hopefully you're finding this build interesting. Again, I'll have the links for the Cyclone adapter and the uh, pieces below. Uh, because like I say, I think I paid 20 bucks and then 5 bucks for the bucket, so $25 for uh, hopefully what would be a rather nice little dust collection system for the CNC. So anyways, hey, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.